What's my shepherd I'll not want He makes me lie in pastures green He leads me by the still, still waters His goodness restores my soul And I will trust in you alone And I will trust in you alone For your endless mercy follows me Your goodness will lead me home He guides my way in righteousness and he anoints my head with oil and my cup it overflows with joy I feast on his pure delights and I will trust in you mercy follows me your goodness will lead me home and though I walk the darkest path I will not fear the evil one for you are with me and your The comfort I need to know And I will trust in you Evening and welcome to our prayer and praise service. Tomorrow is the church's anniversary, and I hope that you can join us, especially in between services in Fellowship Hall. We're going to have some games and some snacks, popcorn, ice cream, cupcakes. So I pray that the family of grace can come together and praise the Lord. Please keep in your prayers, Joan, Bill, Gayera, Bob, Ben, Janice, Val, Kim, Annette, Sally, Beth, Robin, Jason, Jonah, Dante, Greg, and Cindy. Jerry, Anne, also Lynn, Kathy and Ricky, Chick, Henrietta, and we lift the child of God, Eugene, to the church triumphant. Pray for God's mercy to be with Renee and her family. Embrace them with your peace, dear Lord. And please continue to just sending and lifting your prayers for one another. And may we not stop until the Lord calls us home. 
Amen. Gracious Lord, we thank you for calling us your children, giving us opportunity in which to celebrate and to gather, to be together, to console, and to rejoice. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Keep 
the waves When oceans rise My soul will rest in your embrace For I am yours You are mine I'd like to share with you the 30th Psalm. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have lifted me up and have not let my enemies triumph over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you and you restored me to health. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored my life as I was going down to the grave. Sing praise to the Lord, all you faithful. Give thanks and holy remembrance. God's wrath is short. God's favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping spends the night, but joy comes in the morning. While I felt secure, I said, I shall never be disturbed. You, Lord, with your favor, made me as strong as the mountains. Then you hid your face, and I was filled with fear. I cried to you, O Lord, I pleaded with my Lord, saying, What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my wailing into dancing. You have put my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. Therefore, my heart sings to you without ceasing. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. The Lord causes us to be lifted up, causes us to be restored and renewed. We've been praying this week for our folks, including those in danger. All those who love nature, brothers and sisters with hardened hearts, we pray for those who are tossed by inner storms and those who show a concern and love for children. We pray for all generations and those who are hospitalized or have gotten home recently after rehab. We pray for scientists. And we pray for those who serve the needs of others. The Lord has lifted up for over 90 years a number of brothers and sisters in our parish. And I'd like to just celebrate them. This is the, the membership of the 90 plus club. We lift up Dorothy. Millie, John, Chuck, Roberta, Ruth, Elma, Joanne, Nancy, Dolores, Bill, Margaret, Dorothy, Don, Myrtle, Ella, Mary, Betty, and this year, husband and wife, we celebrate Mary, Jane, and Richard, who joined this fantastic group of brothers and sisters blessed by God for over 90 years, serving the Lord. They've been lifted up to lift others. And we celebrate, dear Lord, the way that you care for us and continue to help us. Shall we pray? God of hope. The ministry of your church extends across borders, cannot be contained, because you send out your word of healing and you lift up people of all genders, all ethnicity, all groups and camps. You cut through the boundaries that divide. You accompany all those who labor eagerly in service of the gospel. 
that through your good news, all might experience transformation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we give you thanks for the air we breathe, the water we drink, the land that provides for our food. Guard all the plants and animals from harsh changes in climate and empower us to protect all that you have made to the best of our ability. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of healing, your touch has the power to make us whole. We pray for those who are suffering from physical and mental illness. Embrace those who are sick. Surround them with your unwavering presence. Lord, lift them up. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this assembly and all those who gather together and worship. Revive our spirits, renew our relationships, rekindle our faith, that we might experience resurrection in this very community. Remembering us in your kingdom, dear Lord, teaching us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May God bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. With this peace, lift a brother or sister up. Amen.
can I give? What can I bring? What can I sing as an offering, Lord? I will offer up my life in spirit and truth, pouring out the oil of love as my worship to you. What can be said? What can be said?